feeling excited because I'm gonna show you how I turned my 2009 Volkswagen Beetle into a micro tiny car camper. Now initially I thought, all right, I can live in this car, but I'm gonna have to sleep outside of it. So I had a hammock with hammock poles that I could set up anywhere. And it was my first night. I was like, all right, we're gonna do this. I was at a Walmart because I've heard that you can sleep at any Walmart. And I was setting up my tent poles, <laughs> or not my tent poles, I was setting up my hammock poles, getting ready to sleep. It was dark out. I actually set up right next to this. It was like a police station where it had a little mobile police uh, camera and there was lights and I was like this is probably the safest place so I'm like setting up my poles getting ready I'm like this is gonna be so interesting and then a security offer pulls next to me and he's like that's what you're doing and I was like yeah I'm, uh, I've set it up I'm gonna go to sleep here you could sleep at Walmart right <laughs> And he was like, no, and there's the boogeyman out here. He was like, sleep in your car. Do not sleep outside your car. And I was like, all right. So I moved my car to a different parking lot, and I was just trying to sleep back there in the back of my VW Beetle, and it was so uncomfortable. But then I slept in it another night and another night and I realized, all right, if I set my things up in such a way, I'm able to stretch out. And then I had a vision of, oh my goodness, this is how we can make it work that I can actually sleep in here comfortably. And then after that happened, there's some other things that just really dialed in my setup. But you would not ever think that someone would be sleeping in here. That is one thing I really like because it's super stealthy. So this is what I sleep on and I wanna try to show you it a bit better. It is a wood platform and then underneath it, uh, there is some storage. So at night, this is what I have to do. I go in here, I pull this forward and then this platform here is on hinges. By the way, I contacted my friend who can build anything and he built this for me using just recycled random wood pieces that he had just lying around his house. So this is nothing fancy at all. This is just kind of working with what you working with what you got basically. So two pieces of this super thin um, board here which does make it pretty light and nothing is in here permanently. I can just lift this whole thing out really easily. So this had a back seat and I took that out or my friend, my friend Will took that out and then I told him my vision of what I thought would work in here like a platform that's a little bit slanted with a fold out thing for when I put my seat forward so that I can stretch out flat. And then here is how this works. So I just pull this forward like this and then this is my bed platform and then this was actually a futon that I had a super thin futon it's double the size and then I just folded it over so it's just a cotton futon a thin cotton futon folded in half and amazingly <laughs> it was incredible it turned out to be the absolute perfect size And then, as you can see, there is my bed platform that I can totally stretch out on. Now, even though I can fully stretch out on here, there was another issue that I had <laughs> with being in here full time. Now, because it was such a small space, I literally felt like I was swimming in all of my stuff. And even before I built the bed platform, I was like, you know what, this isn't gonna work. Like, all my stuff is just all around me and it just felt not good. So, I was fortunate enough to be able to get a roof rack and a cargo box. And that is 100% thanks to my amazing subscribers who really helped me out and helped me get this set up. And this just opened up my whole existence and was just the best, the best decision ever in the history of the universe um, because I was able to put up so much stuff in here.
this became my kitchen, like where all my kitchen supplies go, as well as my laundry, my dirty laundry, as well as my clean clothes. Just so much stuff I was able to put up here and make more space for what I needed in there. Now, I'm not currently on the road, so I don't have my clothes in here or anything, but you can get a good idea of what I do have up here. This is my stove, um, some fuel for my stove, toilet paper, another little stove, my uh, toaster oven, um, pots and pans, other cookware and things. Um, I also have my yoga mat, and then I was also able to have bedding up here, like I said, clothes and things like that. So this has just been the most wonderful, incredible addition to my space. All right, so now we're going into the car, and as you can see, I've got plenty of storage space. Well, not plenty, it's not a ton, but it is storage space that I can use underneath my platform. And as you can see, this is how it is. Uh, it's just resting on these two legs here, and then smaller legs there. And the boards were actually cut specially so as to fit this space. <laughs> Above my head. All right, so I'm not on the road at the moment, but I'm gonna show you a couple things that I do have in here when I am on the road. So something that's super essential for me are these. These are my blackout reflectics that I made, and these just go in my windows, and let me tell you what so freaking crucial if you're sleeping in your car or a van or whatever to be able to block out the light as well as just create a bit of privacy one of the best things that i ever made <laughs> for life on the road and then how i have this when i am on trips and stuff is i have a fridge that i put here so a fridge lives here and then i usually have some dry food stuff back here so that's kind of this whole space completely taken up and then I actually have this little water right now but when I'm on bigger trips I have a five gallon jug and that usually sits here but there has been a new development in my life and it is my wonderful kitty Ambrose so I've been enjoying bringing him on trips but oh man I can't really picture bringing him on a long trip in this car because it's so small and I have to have his litter. I've been putting his litter here um, and as you can see he spilt some. I need to get a vacuum and clean that but it's tricky to fit everything as well as my wonderful Ambrose and everything that he needs um, into this car. Like I've taken Ambrose on a couple trips but I didn't bring like the full setup with the water and everything that I would need on a longer trip. So let me show you this other really cool thing that helps me out tremendously. So under here I have my Jackery. It fits perfectly right here. It's incredible. When I first got this, I was like, oh my God, where is it gonna go? By the way, thank you so much Jackery for sending this to me. Um, and this, fits in there perfectly like if it was another millimeter inch centimeter i swear it would not fit so it's amazing that it fits here this powers my fridge and any other electrical appliances that i need powered and it's just so wonderful that it fits there because of the nature of this being such a small space thank you thank the heavens it was really a moment of like oh my gosh if this doesn't fit here like where the heck is it gonna go this little pocket on the door here uh, I was using for spices because I'm not currently uh, on the road right now I've took them all out but I had like a salt grinder pepper grinder and just a couple other spices that I would use when I would cook and stuff like that um, back here I've just got some incense in here um, I just have a headlamp and this is just I just put some random stuff in here some pens some sunscreen um, this is my glove box so my glove box is really small and I just have some important car papers um, I have my pea style I have some toilet paper some wipes 
why you might ask would I turn such a tiny little car into a camper and it really is just a situation of work with what you got this is what I had at the time uh, situations in my life everything was happening so fast I just put all my stuff in a storage and I was like I'm moving into my car this is the best situation um, for me at the moment and so it just went in phases I moved into my car wasn't even gonna sleep inside figured out how I could sleep inside contacted my friend had them build a platform was able to find oh my gosh the story of how I got this cargo box was just everything aligned just so incredibly perfectly because the specific um, set that's needed for a beetle they have discontinued the roof rack discontinued couldn't find it I called somewhere and they were like you know what we have some old parts lying around perhaps we have what you're looking for and they did and then they had a cargo box to fit and they were like you know what this is like magical they're like we are sending away so many more people than we're actually able to help and your rig specifically needed things that are just like not even in stores or being made anymore so it was just like wow and it changed everything for me if there was one thing i would recommend um to someone needing more space in a vehicle especially if you're living in it or camping in it or anything like that it's a game changer it was expensive but like just the quality of life i experienced living in here pre and post cargo box <laughs> it's just wonderful not to be completely swimming in all of your stuff i would say this rig is not particularly ideal to live in because it is such a small space i'm finding especially in the winter months it's just like you don't want to be confined to such a small space when this is closed my doors are closed but then this is open it's like oh and especially when I have my fridge and my other um, my dry foods thing and my water it's just like there's no space in there there's nothing to do except lay down and you can't even sit up you can't even sit up like your option is basically to lay down and especially in the winter months it's just like ah uh, it's just not as comfortable so I would definitely say that this is an amazing option if maybe in the summer if you're traveling around you don't need a lot you know what I mean but to live in or really go on long trips in in any kind of weather um obviously bigger you have more space <laughs> i'm honestly so happy with this setup for this vehicle i feel like it just can't really get much better or maybe it can you let me know have you seen a better one it could very well be this cloth that's around this this was actually a cloth given to me from my dad it's an african cloth and I just took it to where I got the futon and I had them sew it into a cover. So that's how I got such an awesome cover. It's actually a custom made <laughs> to fit this folded over futon absolutely perfectly. And I love it so much. Whenever I look at it, I'm just like, dang, that is so friggin' awesome. So I feel like this setup has proven <laughs> that you can make any car into a micro car camper honestly if you were any taller than me i don't know if you could fit in here potentially you could make the platform more of a diagonal but that's going to take away from other space so i don't think you know if you're six foot five you probably aren't going to be able to sleep in here <laughs> but it's absolutely perfect for just one person traveling around and you know if you're not making your food and you don't need a fridge Although if you are, you know, in, a, in your vehicle for an extended period of time, you're probably going to want something, be it a cooler or whatever, that will take up space. I also really like this little platform here in this car. It's not utilized right now, but when I'm on long trips and adventures and living or whatever I'm doing in this car, um, like I'll put a thing of ghee here, a thing of maybe some oil to rub on my body, a couple other little things, um, my cup that I like to use I'll put here so this thing is actually quite wonderful and I definitely utilize it and then these plugs as well like this is how I'll plug in my fridge a lot and then I'll also plug in like right now my Jackery's plugged in so it's actually really nice having two ports um, because I utilize both of them I don't have it on here right now but when I am in here 
I actually have this backpack that I hang on here and then I have various things in a backpack that's just on this seat and then whenever I'm sleeping or pulling out this I always put this forward and this just gives me a little bit of space and something that is really nice about this space right here before it became the cat uh, litter area is that I could open the door come in here with my shoes on uh, which is nice if it's raining and stuff like that and it's just difficult to take your shoes off outside I could come in here crouch down take my shoes off leave them there and then go back in here without any shoes on and then if I need to get out let's say if I have to pee or something I can put my shoes on right there and get out and if it's rainy or kind of muddy or anything out there uh, I just leave all that mess right here and then I can go back here now that option wasn't available to me when I was just swimming in my stuff before I dialed in everything like figuring out all right this is the best for that that's the best for that that's where that can go the best you know stuff like that before that I didn't have this area to come in and out of and it really <laughs> it's just the little things when you're confined to such a small space the little things of how to utilize the space and things to make life the most comfortable is kind of the name of the game and then over here, because I wasn't having anyone in my passenger seat, I just put this rope here to keep this. So this is a table that if I want to, I can set it up outside, I can do some cooking on it, and just have a little table for various purposes. And it fits perfectly right here, as well as this is where I keep my window coverings behind there as well. It's worked pretty good, nothing fancy, nothing special, but it works. Another thing that I don't have in here right now, but I had a little Velcro military supply. Actually, I got it at a military supply store, and it's just a little uh, pouch that has a couple zippers, and I put a couple things in there as well. Um, just easy access to some stuff. And I'm loving this right now, I'm seeing a little face. <laughs> He's a happy little dude. Also, this is a really special thing that I have hanging in my windshield. I got this from a temple in Thailand. And if you've ever been to Thailand, there's so many temples. But this one was very, very special. There was some crazy juju going on there. And this woman, who was actually a channel for some divine entity, uh, she invited me to stay and do a program there. And I was the first Westerner uh, that only spoke English that ever did this program so it was an honor and a blessing to be there and it felt truly truly special I actually had to have one of the other participants who spoke both languages uh, to help translate for me or else I would have just been sitting there hearing the lectures and things like that and having no freaking idea what they're actually saying so it was a very special experience and I got this there it was a gift and I love having it in my car up here I just have some sunglasses and just a couple other things a little rope to my hat looks like some oh I remember this <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a little gift that I forgot I had. Oh my goodness, thank God I did this video. This is actually a little gift that I got in Abiquiu, in Abiquiu, New Mexico. And I put it somewhere and I completely forgot about it. So this was a gift for Hadley. And Hadley is a musician, so I thought this would be perfect. Saint Cecilia. Saint Cecilia, patron saint of musicians. Lady of angelic harmonies and of unshakable devotion, may the music I make benefit all who hear it. I'm filled with gratitude and joy for the gift of musical expression. So I'm going to go give this to Hadley right now. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of how I turned my 2009 Volkswagen Beetle into a tiny micro car camper. It served me well and I've been so just amazed with from the decision to move into my car to ding 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 light bulbs going off to oh my goodness i need that and to just everything falling together and making you know a really great uh little camper out of my bug <laughs>
Now, with all that said of how amazing everything has worked out and how wonderful of a setup this is and how it's the best, like, I'm sure there is many improvements that could be made, but for me and how it all came together and how fast I was able to make everything happen to be able to live in here full time for the time that I did, um, I'm happy with it, but I have spent enough time in here to know that it is difficult in such a small space. I feel like even a minivan would be so much, like it would feel like a mansion compared to this, especially given the nature of the curved back. It just makes it real tight. You can't even sit up in here when it's like, you either have the front seats out where you can sit up or you have the bed platform out where you have to lay down. Now, if I didn't have things on the other side of my bed platform, I could sit there, but I do generally have things there, so that's not accessible for me. So I would say, you know, to really be comfortable in a setup for a longer period of time, probably a bigger car would be better. I say probably. I really think a bigger car would be better, uh, or a van, or anything bigger than this, pretty much. But if you're working with what you got and you just want to do some trips, you can make any car, even one as small as this, into a little rig where you can drive anywhere, you can sleep in your car, you don't have to pay for motels or hotels or camping if you don't want, and you can do some stealthy fun stuff. <laughs> but for longer term or longer adventures or traveling with an animal or anything like that, uh, definitely something bigger would be more comfortable. I'm currently looking for something, an inexpensive, bigger vehicle for myself to be more comfortable in. So if that tells you something, but I did enjoy being able to be in here. I felt very accomplished and just happy I was able to make it happen. And it was quite an adventure pulling it all together. So I'm grateful for that. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.